What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today is actually going to be the dreaded state testing prep. Okay, I figured, you know what? There's a lot of kids out there doing this state testing. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to break apart by grade, 7th uh, and 8th grade first, because that's what I teach, and then I will eventually get to other grades as well. This is to help you break down what exactly is on this state test and how do I do it. Think you can handle that? You ready for this cruel and unusual punishment? Heck, if I can teach it to Tommy, I think you can get it too. Come here, Tommy. Okay. Oh, whoa. 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 Oh, okay. Hi. What's up, Tommy? How you doing? Good, 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 good. All right, Tommy, we're breaking down some test prep today. Where I'm from, it's called the S-back. The S-back. Okay, okay. What? What's on it? Lots of stuff. We're actually going to start with, this video is going to focus on some exponents and expressions and equations that you will see. So here's the first one. Enter the value of n for the equation. 3 to the 5th power times 3 to the n power equals 3 eighths. Or excuse me, 3 to the 8th power. What? I don't understand. Ah, so he just wants to know what's n that makes this thing true. So if I have 3 fifths times 3 to the n equals 3 eighths, what in the world is n? Oh, I don't know. Well, there's a trick to it. There is? Yep, with exponents, anytime you're multiplying exponents, so it could be 3 to the 4th power times 3 to the 7th power. It could be 2 to the 5th power times 2 to the 5th power. As long as the bases are the same. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. Okay. As long as the bases are the same. That is terrible handwriting. That is awful. It looks like one word. Okay, well, as long as the bases are the same, it's really easy. When you multiply, yeah. all you do is add the exponents. When you multiply, wait. So does that mean n equals 3? That is absolutely right. n equals 3. You got it. Because if I put in 3 to the fifth power times three to the third power. What's five plus three? Eight. So three to the eighth power is actually the same answer. Oh, wow. So go over to someone over here, what is that? Well, three to the fourth, what's three to the eleventh? It is three to the eleventh, good job. And this one? Two to the tenth. Good, pretty straightforward, huh? Yeah, any time you multiply, all you do is add. I like that. Oh, you like that, okay. Pretty straightforward, you think you guys can handle a question if you saw it like that? I think you can too. Again, with exponents, all it is is if the bases are the same, if you multiply, you add the exponents. What if the base isn't the same? Ah, uh, if the base isn't the same, uh, then that's a long, difficult process that you don't want to worry about. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Let's look at another one. Let's look at something like this. Adam is rewriting. You read it. Okay, I'll read. Adam is rewriting the expression 8 fifths over 8 to the second, or 8 squared, in an equivalent form. His steps are shown. He first does 8 fifths over 8 squared. He breaks it down. He says 8 to the 5 minus 2 over 8 to the 1. Step 3, 8 to the 3 over 8. And then step 4, 8 squared. What in the world? I'm so lost. Oh my goodness, are you guys lost too? A lot of kids get really lost in problems like this. Here's my best advice to you, okay? If it breaks down and does steps like this, okay? Like 8 to the 5th over 8 to the 2, and it just breaks down all the steps. Stop. Don't look at this person's steps. Do it yourself. Figure out what you would do and figure out where the steps went wrong, okay? This is just division of exponents, right? In multiplication, we added. In division, if the bases are the same, what do you think we do? Oh, we subtract. We do subtract. Good call. So this is pretty straightforward. Watch this. 8 over 5, or 8 to the 5th over 8 over 2 would be what? Well, you just have to subtract them, so 8 to the 3rd. Exactly, 8 to the 3rd. Huh. Okay. Well, let's look to see what he did. So he has it written down, right? But then he tries to do subtraction, but then he has it like 8 over 1. What's the 8 over 1? I don't know. What is the 8 over 1? That's weird. Why would he do that? I don't know. If you did, if you that's if you think that's weird, then that probably means it's what? Oh, it's wrong. So let's look at the answers. Adam made an error in step two. The exponent and numerator should be five plus two, not five minus two. Is that true? Well, no. It's, it's still minus. Good. Adam made an error in step two. The denominator should be one, not eight over one. One. Well, yeah, one one. Yeah, yeah. B b b b. Good b. 
job. Does it make sense? Yeah, so it's just, when you see one like that, just make sure that you do it first. Exactly, make sure you do it first. So let's just practice another random one. What if I had this, what would it be? 8 to the 7, 8 to 2, 7 to the 2 is pi, so 8 to the pi. Exactly, 8 to the power. Oh man, this is way easy, way easy. Do you guys think this is easier so far? Yep, stick with me though, this next one's going to be tricky. So that was division multiplication. Here is the next one. This involves exponents as well, but this wants you to write all expressions equivalent to 2 to the negative third times 2 to the fourth to the negative second. What do, what do I do? Ah, great question. So anytime you see, Tommy, and this goes for all of you guys too, anytime you see something that select all the expressions, here's my advice. Okay, first, simplify this out all the way. Okay? That's the first thing. So first... Simplify out the question. Okay, so first is to simplify it. So we have to do the math. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. So we start inside the parentheses. I'm going to rewrite this. 2 to the negative 3 times 2 to the 4 parentheses to the negative 2. You with me? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so 2 to the negative 3 and 2 to the 4. Notice it's multiplying those. So what do I do? You add. You do add. So negative 3 plus 4 is what? Let's see. 1. That's good. So that's just 2 to the 1, right? Or... Two? Yeah, two, okay. And then we do, after we do inside the parentheses, we do this part. And that's two to the negative two, right? Yeah. Okay. How do I do that? Great question. Now we get into negative exponents. Oh, man. It's okay. And keep in mind, too, just as a little a little hint for yourself for later. So when we had multiplying of, of exponents, we added them, right? When you had dividing of exponents, you subtracted them, right? Yeah. Well, if you have squaring of exponents, which basically means like if you do something like 2 to the squared squared, like this, if you're there multiplying them, or if you're doing 2 like that, yeah, you multiply them. So this would really be 2 to the 4th power. Oh, okay. That's very easy. Good. This time with a negative number, here's another thing about exponents, with a negative number that really means, that's really tricky. It's really not. It just means rewrite it like this. 1 over 2 squared. Okay, you get rid of the negative and you put it over 1. So here's another example over to the side. If I had uh, 5 to the negative 3, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, and feel free, if ever I'm going too fast, pause this video, right? Slow down, take a look at it, think. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, what do you think? Let's put it over 1. Put it over 1, okay. You mean like you mean put one over it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take away the negative. It's just that. Oh, really? Really. So it would it's that simple. So in something like this, one over two squared, right? And two squared is what? Oh, uh, that's two. Two times so one fourth. One fourth. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now we need to find all the expressions. So after we simplified the first one. The next thing to do is go through and simplify all the answers to see which ones match. Okay. So, notice, one-fourth. Hey, that's the real. Are you, are you done? No, because it's just select all. Good. So now I need to look at this one. This is 2 to the 6 times 2 to the negative 8. Ah, oh, okay. So it's multiplication of exponents. So I add. So 6 plus negative 8 is negative 2. So that's 2 to the negative 2. Is that going to be the same thing? Yeah, you just want to learn and then... 2 squared. Good. Yeah, it is. It is. Good. Okay. What about this one? No, 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 it's not. Why not? Well, because negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and that's not the right answer. Good call. What about 4? No, 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 no. No, it has to be 1 4. Good. So you got the two right answers. Oh, that's pretty easy. It is pretty easy. So really the key to doing problems like this that you're going to see, sim select all expressions that are equivalent to something, equivalent meaning equal, simplify this one first, and then go through and simplify all the rest to figure out which ones are the right answer. If you do these guys, you do the tricks with, this is for all for exponents, right? But you're going to see these on the test. If you remember, you multiply them, you add, if you divide them, you subtract. If you have them to an exponent like this, you multiply. And if it's negative, you put one on top and change it. If you can remember that, you're going to do awesome on this test. You're going to rock this test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
Always a pleasure, guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys showing up. Don't forget, free tutoring, Mondays, 2.30 to 3.30. Yeah, free tutoring. Be there.